Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooke's Beauty Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the five biggest mistakes people make when it comes to clearing their fungal acne. Roll the footage. If you're new around here, I want you to know that I have created shopping guides for Walmart, Target, Ulta, and Sephora. And if you need help finding products that are fungal acne safe, those lists have you covered and are completely free. All you need to do to download those is look for the shopping cart emoji in the description bar below. Make sure you stay tuned because I'm going to be sharing an exciting skincare giveaway that I have coming up on this channel and I know you don't want to miss it. Let's do this. <laughs> you guys, I just quickly want to apologize because my neighbors are doing construction in their backyard apparently right now um so that banging i can't do a lot about it <laughs> so the first thing that is keeping you from clearing your fungal acne is something that may sound obvious but you really need to be honest with yourself with this have you actually overhauled all of your skincare and makeup to make sure that all of your products are safe and by safe, I mean they don't contain any ingredients that could possibly trigger and feed your Malassezia yeast. So this is one thing that I always find very difficult when you guys comment questions. I always wanna to try to help you my very best, but I don't live with you, so I don't know what you're actually putting on your skin in a day, and how do I know when you're asking your question about a specific product that you're not at home smearing Narsheer Glow all over your face or washing your skin at night with jojoba oil. I cannot stress this point enough. If you want to clear your skin, you're going to have to make a huge lifestyle change when it comes to both your skincare and your beauty routines. And if you're wondering whether or not you're gonna always have to use a fungal acne safe skincare routine, that really depends on the individual. But I would tell you guys that I don't think that you should even think about adding a product that has unsafe ingredients back into your routine until you've been on a completely safe and strict routine for at least six months. I actually do have a video on this topic as well, so I will link it in the description below. The second mistake that you are making that is keeping you from clearing your fungal acne once and for all is that you're overdoing it on the harsh treatments. When I say harsh treatments, this again is going to be a very individual basis, but if you're out there using a routine where every single product that you put on your skin contains a harsh chemical exfoliant like salicylic acid or a blend of AHAs and BHAs, then it is highly likely that you are out there just destroying your skin's moisture barrier and therefore you're not gonna see your skin clear up. So if you want that to change and you wanna start seeing your skin clear, you're gonna need to scale way back. Now I do have a blog post on this topic and I talk all about why having a healthy moisture barrier is so vital to clearing all of your skin's ailments. I highly, highly recommend that you go and check that out on brooksbeautybazaar.com. I will leave the link below to that specific post so you can access it right away. That post is really gonna take your skincare knowledge up a whole notch. By the way, if you have ever gone to brooksbeautybazaar.com and read some of my articles, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up right now. And if you haven't, head over there so you can see all of the amazing content I have. I promise you will not be sorry. The third reason that you are having trouble clearing your fungal acne is that you you are either not moisturizing enough or you're not moisturizing at all. So I'm gonna admit something to you guys right now that I'm not so proud of, but I personally did not start using moisturizer in my skincare routine until I was in kind of my early 20s, I would say, because in my twisted mind of having severe cystic acne for so long, I really thought that having moisturizer on my face was adding insult to injury and making things much worse for me. Thankfully, I don't think that anymore, and I realize now that I was actually sabotaging my efforts to clear my skin by not using a moisturizer, but there are still so many people out there who actually believe this lie and perpetuate it. So if you're one of them, please come to the light and know that moisture is key to clearing your skin. Now, I hear you guys when you say that you think the moisturizer you're using was breaking you out worse, and I think that that's probably true because a lot of us have been using moisturizers that are just filled with ingredients that are feeding the mouth yeast and also just not suited to our skin type. So if you are struggling with fungal acne and you need to find a good moisturizer, I'm going to link my video on fungal acne safe moisturizers right now so that you can go ahead and watch that. There are options at every price point. Can you tell that I'm on my soapbox in this moment? If you like what you're hearing, go ahead and press subscribe right now because I have so many more skincare opinions where this one comes from and you don't want to miss out. The fourth mistake you're making that 
that is keeping you from clearing your fungal acne and is also causing your skincare products to not work at their best level is not wearing sunscreen. You know every single point that I have made in this video I'm super passionate about, but this one has got to be at like the top of my list. I cannot stress the importance of sunscreen more. Not only is sunscreen your best defense against skin cancer and premature aging and aging in general, but it also allows your skin to protect and heal itself because it is shielding you from the harmful UVA and UVB rays. So what do I mean by this? Let's be clear. Most of us who have fungal acne or acne in general are using products that contain a harsh chemical exfoliant such as salicylic acid, which is good because it's going to be killing that yeast on your skin as well as sloughing away all of the dead skin cells and helping to exfoliate your skin. But it is also compromising your skin, which is making it more sensitive and also more susceptible to damage. So when you don't follow up with a good sunscreen, you're adding insult to injury and you can actually reverse the positive effects of your skincare routine. You need to wear sunscreen every single day, period, winter, spring, summer, and fall, rain or shine. I don't care, you must wear it. By the way, I do of course have a video on this very topic. I actually have two, so I'm gonna link one here right now if you wanna watch it and then I will link the other one in the description bar below. All right, so we are on to the final point. And after this, I'm going to be sharing my big skincare giveaway announcement, so make sure you're staying tuned. The fifth thing that is keeping you from clearing your fungal acne is that you're not being consistent, and this has two different meanings. So the first point is you need to be consistent with your skincare routine both at night and in the daytime, and you need to be consistent over a long period of time. We're talking months here. When I first started treating my acne as fungal acne, I definitely started seeing results almost immediately, but it still took that solid two to three months before my skin was actually fully clear. And I also made a few mistakes along the way, so it took me a while to kind of fine tune the products that I needed to actually get to that clear skin. And the other thing I mean by this is that you don't need to be changing your skincare products every single week. Do not be fooled by marketing claims and thinking that you need to add this other product in because it's going to get your skin clearer faster. That's just not gonna be how it works. It might take you a little while to find the products that you really love, but once you have them, just stick to them. If there's one thing that I know without a doubt in my mind about fungal acne, you don't need fancy products to clear your skin and you don't even need very many products to clear your skin. You simply need to get products that are suited to your skin type and be consistent with them over time. All right, so what did you guys think? Have you made some of these mistakes during your journey? And if not, did you learn something that you're now going to apply to your skincare journey? Let me know in the comments below. And now we are finally to the big announcement, which is the skincare giveaway. It is the Brooks Beauty Bazaar 2K skincare giveaway. And in honor of us almost reaching 2000 subscribers here on YouTube, I thought it was a great time to do my first ever giveaway on this channel. However, of course there's a kicker. In order to actually enter this giveaway, you're gonna need to go and check out the details of how to enter on Instagram. So I have already made the post, it is up on my Instagram page, and the details of how to enter are in the caption. I am giving away an entire skincare routine for you and a friend, and of course, all products are going to be completely fungal acne safe. If you want to find out the details of what those products actually are, head on over to Instagram right now. The giveaway is open until December 18th, so you have just a few weeks to enter. Don't forget, you guys can shop some of my favorite fungal acne products below or on brooksbeautybazaar.com simply by clicking shop at the top of the page. And now if you will direct your attention to the left side of the screen, I'm going to link two videos that I think you will really enjoy. The first is fungal acne skincare at Target, and the second is going to be fungal acne safe moisturizer, which is the one that I mentioned earlier on in this video. Don't forget to subscribe and join me on my mission to prove that clear skin and amazing makeup can coexist. Ta-da! Right. We're done.